Ross Hardy, Inkjet Cards Technical Support. How to manage color management off. And there's a lot of circumstances when you want to do it. First thing you want to do before you even open your document is be in Photoshop, click the edit menu, then click color settings. And make sure these three check boxes are checked. Ask when opening for profile mismatches. These are your color management policies in this area. Adobe RGB 98 for RGB and US Web Coded Swoop. Leave, leave all of these other items uh, alone and at default settings. But the main thing is to ask when opening on profile mismatches. A lot of people turn off that nag screen because they don't know how to deal with it. It's very important they're on. Otherwise, when you open a document, you are applying some color management to it. And in the case of ICC profiling charts, we can't have that. So I'm going to open the ICC profiling chart, the first one, and you're going to see this nag screen. It's going to pop up. I want to see this screen when I open profile charts or any other document because I want the choice of what to do to it. My choice is leave it as is. You cannot apply any color management to our document when opening it, when printing it, or when the printer receives it. Color management has to be off in all places. Uh, I'm going to fit it to the screen. Here's my document. I'm going to go ahead and click File Print. I'm going to scroll down and make sure that it's okay to center it, but it's very important that we do not scale it. The ICC profiling equipment is expecting a certain size of these document squares and these columns and rows. It's very important that I have the bounding box so I can be sure that you printed it correctly. I need the actual size. Do not click scale to fit. If you do that, I won't be able to read it. It's too big or too small, depending on the paper size you're using. Make sure scale to fit is off. Make sure you just go ahead and dump it. Printer manages colors. And then very important is to set up your print settings. You do that by getting into the print settings. I have a saved setting name here. Okay? But instead, what I need to do is show you how to do that. For drop down this box, that layout, and go to printer settings. This is where we're going to have everything we need. Under printer settings, the first thing is, is under color mode, you need to drop that down and select off no color adjustment. We want the charts printed with at least about 1440 DPI. And depending on what matte black or photo black mode you're in, you're going to select the appropriate paper. Go ahead and select a good quality paper. Make sure that you got a good DPI. Make sure off no color management is selected. And go ahead and give it finest detail. Turn off high speed. And then you want to save this setting. Okay, show current settings as preset save current settings as preset and then give it a name all right i have icc charts mat and you see it says it already exists you need to make one that you can select now since i already have one and i've shown you how to do it click save and then Every time you open a page, file, print, you make sure that you see the next screens, leave it as is, do not color manage, do not resize it, and then dump it to the printer, let printer manage colors, and then in the printer driver, we are telling it not to color manage this document, but to print it on this paper, this size, and all of that. And we're just gonna select that name and click save, and then print. Verify that it's a good print. Recommend you do a nozzle check between each page and verify. Make sure after you print it, compare it to what's on the screen and make sure it looks appropriate. 
Make sure there's no banding, make sure there's no splotches, no drips, no creases, or anything else. In the case of our heat transfer customers, there's one other thing you're going to want to save to those printer settings, and that would be reverse the image. So let's go back there, print settings, go back to printer settings, and there's a mirror image function there. And then you can click save. And now when we select it, it's going to print it all backwards. Okay. And then to get your presets, you just merely select them after you've named them. And that way there's no doubt that every single page is going to be printed the exact same. And this is how uh, you're going to use the color management later on. So here we go. I'm going to go file print after you get your ICC profile. Then you're going to select print Photoshop manages colors and then drop down and select the ICC profile. Okay. And how to print it and so on. So that'll be another video later on how to manage it. And then over here in the print settings, you're going to select the same setting that you use to produce the charts with. We need color management off. We still need reversed. We still need good quality and all that. So you're still going to use this ICC charts mat preset all the time or ICC charts ultramat or whatever you've named it you're gonna use this setting forever because you can't have both people in charge of color if the printer is in charge of color and Photoshop they'll fight each other so you're still later on you're going to let Photoshop manage colors but use this particular ICC profile and that's how you'll dump it using the same save setting that you had over here earlier okay so you're going to be using that save setting for the rest of your life with this ICC profile so it's important to name it something that's meaningful to you okay like um, ICC for MDF or ICC for tile uh, or how about dice up P800 dice up tile P800 dice sub MDF uh, P800 die sub t-shirt whatever your save settings are you're going to use those forever for that particular material and uh, that's the save setting for the printer setup that you're going to use and then over here in Photoshop you'll be using P800 uh, die sub metal or P800 die sub shirt each profile will have a different name for each material and you'll just select it here let Photoshop manage colors tell it whether you want relative perceptual saturation and black point on or off okay when you're printing the ICC profile charts it's important that you select your save setting after you've created it printer manages colors and you see how black point grayed out very important and then print it. So printer manages colors. I'm dumping it to the printer is what Photoshop's doing. And the printer says in the setup files, don't color manage it. Off no color management, see? Okay. And then whether you want mirror image or not. And I want to leave that mirror image in there, so I'm going to overwrite it, and I did. So now, when I go back and select it, mirror image is saved in there, plus off no color. So that's it. That's how. Uh, that's how to in Mac. That's how to print with off no color management. Thanks for your time, Ross Hardy, Inkjet Carts.